a little earthy note maybe as well. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have something special. It's the Woodford Reserve Classic Malt. Yeah, you can read the malt. Classic Malt. And it's an American whiskey. It's not a bourbon. And I can tell you why. Because it's very interesting how this whiskey is made. And this whiskey is made in an old world style. Our classic malt features a 100% malt spirit that was triple distilled in Woodford Reserve copper stills and matured in seasoned casks. Okay, bit of explaining. 100% malt, self-explanatory. The copper pot stills of Woodford are pot stills from uh, Scotland. So after they actually designed in, yeah, similar to Ochentoschen triple distilled. Very few distillery do that and matured in seasoned casks. And by that they don't mean that they use the normal casks that they have uh, the seasoned white oak um, that they use for producing the normal barrels for their bourbon and other whiskies. Um, because I think I've done the, the video about the distiller and the, the cooperage and they mature their wood for a few months especially for Woodford they mature a bit longer I think so that uh, the white oak gets a bit milder and gets the right flavor for the Woodford Reserve but they don't mean that they mean something different seasoned casks they mean that they have already used the casks they've used the casks to make bourbon you have to use fresh casks to make bourbon and then they use it for this whiskey therefore not bourbon um, also there's no corn it 100% malt um, it offers the connoisseur a rare opportunity to taste the American whiskey as it would have been uh, been crafted prior to the innovations pioneered by Pepper and Crow. Okay, so this is a very, very old world styled whiskey. It means we have distillation like, like in Scotland, we have um, the ingredients like in Scotland, and we have the maturation type casks like in Scotland and the only thing they don't quite have is the country because it's uh, it's made in Versailles Kentucky USA it says here no can't read that and I've been to Kentucky during the summer and it's definitely hotter than the summer in Scotland but if they would have I don't know where the cars come from if they've been stored in the very bottom of the the warehouses then they would pretty pretty much be similar to what they produce in Scotland okay much said about the whiskey and what's most important is the taste so let's have a try it's 45.2% uh, alcohol by volume so no need for dilution. That's about 90 proof. And you can also already see it's different to bourbon because color. So um, it's not bourbon. So technically it could be colored, but I don't think it is color. I think they, they did that deliberately that it is um, not as dark because they want to see show you look we used seasoned casks and that's what you get from seasoned casks a lighter spirit oh, yeah. definitely grain but the stem is still attached so you get grass you get hay that really reminds you just walking through through a normal what do you call it, a uh, cornfield, uh, barley field, <laughs> and yeah, definitely grassy, a little earthy note maybe as well. Of 
The official tasting notes also say uh, fruity. I can't find that. I would rather say heather, honey. Hmm? Yeah, so very, very different to what you expect from American, from typical American spirit. Definitely not a bourbon. Yep, more straightforward because you don't have that much vanilla around it. It's a bit more harsh and you have a scent of honey. Floral, flowery, grain. Mm. It's a good mixture between dryness and, and mouth watering. I would say in the side you have mouth watering and in the center it's dry. So mm, it's a good good balance of, of mouth feel. Uh, that, that is really cool. And and the, the tastes you have are very delicate. Um, maybe I'm missing some stuff. Hard to compare it to anything. You definitely can't compare it to anything made in Kentucky. You cannot compare it to a space cider either because um, I would rather compare it to a Highlander with the honey and heather. No smoke though, so definitely nah you can't compare it to a Highlander either. It's something else. It's really something else. It's a grassy, earthy a scent of honey, heather. Quite unusual for anything I've tasted so far. So, very interesting. Have a look for it. The internet says it was released in 2013. I don't know if they continued it. Um, but, very interesting. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please share, subscribe. And have a nice day.